In this mini-clip, we'll be discussing the transformation of trigonometric functions. While we answer this question together, you will be solving the similar problem on your own using the same technique. We are asked to sketch the graph of f of x equal to 5 times cos of 2x minus 3. Taking a closer look at our equation, we'll realize that it contains the trigonometric function cos. This means that our function, 5 times cos of 2x minus 3, will have a similar shape to the graph of cos x. So let's take a closer look at that graph, f of x equal to cos x. We should all be familiar with this graph by now. It has a maximum value of 1, a minimum value of negative 1, and x-intercepts at 90 and 270 degrees. Now from this graph, we're going to apply our various transformations. Our first transformation is this 2 in front of the x. So we're going to have to draw another graph. So our first graph will be of cos of 2x. This 2 in front of our x will cause our previous graph to compress horizontally by a factor of 2. What this means is that we need to take all our x values found in this graph and we have to divide them by 2 to find out our new values. Our first point up here, we have our x is equal to 0. 0 divided by 2 is still 0, so we're still going to have this point here. It's not going to change. Looking at our first x-intercept, we have x equal to 90. Dividing this value by 2, we will have 45. So our new x-intercept will occur when x is equal to 45. Our minimum value occurs when our x is equal to 180. Dividing this value by 2, our new minimum value will occur when x is equal to 90. 270 is our next x-intercept, so dividing this x value by 2 will give us 135. And lastly, our endpoint ends when x is 360. Dividing this by 2, our new endpoint will occur when x is equal to 180. Since this graph also contains a cos function, it's going to have a similar curve as our previous graph which is the graph of the cos function. So we need to connect these dots such that it will have the exact same curve as the previous graph, except now it will be compressed horizontally by a factor of 2. So this is how our first graph should look like. Again, it was compressed horizontally by a factor of 2. I would now like you to apply this transformation to the question that you were given. Here's how your first graph should look like. Coming back to our question, we are now going to apply our second transformation, this 5 in front of the cos of 2x. Once again, we need to draw another graph. This graph will be f of x equal to 5 times cos of 2x. Because our graph contains the function cos of 2x, we're going to apply this transformation based on our previous graph, the cos of 2x. The 5 in front of the cos of 2x will cause our previous graph to stretch vertically by a factor of 5. In other words, we need to take all our y values in this graph and multiply them by 5. So looking at our first point, we have a y value of 1. Multiplying this number by 5, will give us positive 5, which will be our new starting point. Our first x-intercept, we have a y value of 0, and 0 times 5 is still 0. So our x-intercepts, both of these intercepts, will be the same on our next graph. Looking at our minimum value on our graph of cos of 2x, we have a y value of negative 1. 
multiplying this value by 5 will give us a new minimum value of negative 5. Now our graph ends when y is equal to 1. So on our graph, multiplying this value by 5, our graph will end at positive 5. Once again, we need to connect these dots such that we have the same curve as our previous graph, except now in this graph, it's going to be stretched vertically by a factor of 5. And here's how our graph of 5 times cos of 2x should look like. I would now like you to apply this transformation to the question that you were given. Here's how your second graph should look like. Coming back to our question, we now need to apply our last transformation, this negative 3. So we're going to draw our third and final graph. This graph will be of our final function, 5 times cos of 2x minus 3. Because our final graph contains the function 5 times cos of 2x, we want to apply our transformation based on our previous graph, which is the function 5 times cos of 2x. The negative 3 then will cause our previous graph to shift downwards by 3 units. The negative means that we're moving downwards, and the 3 tells us by how many units. This means we need to take all our major points, and we need to subtract 3 from the y value, since the y value determines whether or not a graph shifts, shifts upward or downward. Looking at our first point, our y value is 5. Subtracting 3 from 5, we'll get our new starting point to occur when our y value is 2. Looking at our first x-intercept, our y value was 0. 0 minus 3 will be negative 3. So our x value stays the same, but we move down 3 units. Looking at our minimum value, it occurred when our y was equal to negative 5. Negative 5 minus 3 will give us a new minimum value of negative 8. Looking at our second x-intercept, the y value was 0. 0 minus 3 will give us negative 3. And our last point occurred when our y was equal to 5. 5 minus 3 will give us positive 2. So we just shifted our previous graph downwards by 3 units. And we, we are now left to just connect these dots such that they will have a similar shape to our previous graph. And here is our final graph. I would now like you to complete the question that you were given. And this should be your final graph.